Marcy, good afternoon. What is your name? Marcy. Marcy, which state are we in? Texas. And what do you think about Donald Trump? You got a message for the world? Yes, I do. I go for Donald Trump because uh, he was the first president that I know that had the guts to say the truth which a lot of Democrats don't like it, a lot of people don't like it, and I always say the ones that don't like it is because they got their own personal reasons, and their own personal reasons is they've been living out of the system, and they don't want to be taken away, so therefore, that's why they are against Donald Trump. I like his way of mentality and his way of speech, even though it's different, but I like it because he says it like it is. He's not afraid to say what is the truth. He doesn't beat around the bush. He goes straight at it. If you attack him, he attacks you. So therefore, you know, you should all have a little bit more respect for our president, the ones that don't like it. Then they should go back to their country where they're from and correct their government instead of trying to correct ours. So therefore, hello to everybody that is out there, freeloaders. Get back to your countries. And there's nothing racial that I'm talking about. I'm talking about people that come here, take advantage of food stamps, Medicaid, everything else that comes along. And especially the young ladies that come and pop their kids here just so they can have the key to the USA. That is no more. I got married young too, and I had only one daughter because I could only afford one daughter. And therefore, you all should limit your amounts to what you can afford and get yourselves a job. Until you get a job, then you know what I'm talking about. In the meantime, there's a lot of illegals that say, why work when everything's given to us? We need to stop accepting so many illegals. And I'm calling from the area of El Paso, Texas, which we have five borders of entry. And every day, there's hundreds and hundreds of illegals. Here, we have attorneys that help them with the visas. They even pay for their visas. We have uh, churches. Uh, places where they're immediately, once they're over here, they get housing, they get shelter, they get food, they get a bed, they get medical attention, they even get educated so they can stay. Well, let me tell you, I worked very hard all my life, and you ought to see how I'm living now. Why? Because my money that I earn all through these years is given to all these people that are not even from here. I'm fed up of it, just like a lot of people here in El Paso area are fed up. And God bless you all, and thank you very much. Thank you.